Hello, Machinima and YouTube viewers. This is Steven and CJ from Cannabis Gaming with our first legit commentary. Uh, today we decided to make call it the Random Class Generator, Episode 1. Um, the class I'm using is the MP5K with extended mags and the ASP with no attachment. My lethal grenade is, uh, Frag. It's Frag or Sandbox, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, Frag. It's Frag. Um, and my secondary grenades are decoy. I was gonna say it now throughout the video, it looks like I, I randomly throw the decoys. That's because I think I have concussion grenades, so please, please ignore that and, uh, and notice how bad it is. I also have C4. The perks I'm using are Hardline, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Marathon. Um, I guess I'll get off to the bad where we start, how we came here, and then I'll go deeper into the video if we have any time left. Um, I guess we started when playing, I probably started playing video games when I was five. Played Super Nintendo, then I worked my way up to Sega, then I had N64, then PlayStation, then a PlayStation 2, then an Xbox, then I got an Xbox 360, then I got a PlayStation 3, but then I stuck with the Xbox 360, so. I guess how it started with me is that I played a Mario, Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, Mortal Kombat, and just, it's just the side-scrolling types of games and fighting games on the Super Nintendo, which I enjoyed a lot. Then with the N64, no, no, sorry, pardon me, it was the N64, it was the Sega. Didn't really play that a lot because I just didn't have a lot of games and it didn't really interest me. So right after that, we sold it because we gave it to a family friend. Then after we got an N64, and with that I started playing like Super Mario World and started like looking and playing more like open world types of games. Uh, no, I did not play Goldeneye, so I mean... Like, I played Goldeneye. Uh, why? I, okay, well, I'm sorry. That was I, my first ever game for N64. Uh, okay, never mind. I remember now. I played a bit of Goldeneye, but I didn't like it. For some reason, I did not enjoy Goldeneye. I do not know why. Okay. Uh, last time I checked, I wasn't, but, well, I don't know, I just, it never really interested me, then we got a Sony PlayStation, with that, I kind of started playing, like, Street Fighter, and Twisted Metal, and a bunch of those games, and, and it was fun, like, I, I, I loved playing those games, and then we got a PlayStation 2, and with that, I was introduced to, like, GTA, and, like, all the, o and more overworld games, but we were more, they're more open, though, it was, like, an actual, widespread, I, I don't know how to put it, but... So I started playing more of those, I played Ghost Recon, I played... Fable. Fable. Well, that's not PlayStation, though. Wow. Well, that is Xbox. Yeah, well, and after the PlayStation, I got an Xbox, and so I played, like, Fable, and then I started playing Ghost Recon and all, and more of those games, and then the one game that got me into playing first-person shooters was Halo 2. Never played it online, but I played the campaign, I played with my friends, and it, it was fun. It, it was just an enjoyable time. And it wasn't until around I was maybe 14 when I got my first Xbox, and then when I turned... Was it still 14 or was it 15? I think it was 15 when I got Xbox Live, and that's when I started playing Halo 3 online, because that was like one of the first games I played online, and I enjoyed it. And then I got Call of Duty because I heard that I never I never had any of the other Call of Duty games. Well, that's a lie. I had Call of Duty 3. I got Call of Duty 3, and that game was fun. So campaign-wise, I never like I said, I never played multiplayer. It was long. I never beat it. So you never beat Call of Duty? No, I never beat Call of Duty. I know it's quite sad. I just beat it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you beat it like a couple weeks ago. Was it? Yeah. Anyway, that's not. Point. So then after I started playing COD 4, then I played Call of Duty. Oh! oh! You got Call of Duty. Yeah. Started playing COD 4, back to what I was saying, and then played Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> played a lot more online, and I enjoyed it. And then I yes! got into Black Ops, and then that's where I made, and then I started bleh, speaking too fast for these Then I started playing Black Ops. But during that time, I found Machinima, and I saw a bunch of the videos that everybody was doing. Like, I found Machinima, Machinima, like the Machinima videos and stuff. I didn't find Machinima Respawn until sometime last year, and I started watching them, and I was just like, No, they, I like to play video games, and why not make video game movies? So I went and bought a, a decent, well, a standard capture card, or what. I don't have a problem playing the standard definition, but it's just, you know, you gotta do what you, what you gotta do until you get enough money to buy a uh, HD PVR. 
So that's my background history from up to this point. Um, you want to take a go? Oh fuck, I just killed myself. Um, uh, I don't know. I started off on an NES playing oh, Super Mario way. Brothers, Zelda. Uh, then we play or we got a Super Nintendo. I forget how old I was. Fuck, I don't know. But uh, we we played the shit out of it. But uh, growing up. My family was quite poor, to be honest, oh, and yeah, uh, so game. we never got new games. So I played a lot. We had Super Mario All Stars though, which was like four Mario's in one, which was fucking awesome. Can I just interrupt you for a second? Yeah, I was gonna say, when I was a kid too, my parents had a bit more money. Like like CJ just said, he his family didn't have a bit of money, so we didn't have any new games. My parents spoiled the <laughs> fuck out of me. I will say that now. But when I realized that money is such a pain in the ass and all that, I just like, you know, I started buying my own games, which made it a little bit better. I seemed a little more responsible and it's like, yeah, I have to ask my parents to go buy me the next fucking video game. Anyway, you can go back to what you're saying. I don't remember what I was talking about. You're talking about, like, Super Nintendo and how you played the fuck out oh, of Mario. Oh, oh, yeah, the Mario and... I played a lot of NHL. NHL 94. It was a good year. <laughs> but, uh... Uh, after that, well, we had that for a while, like, uh, the PlayStation 1 had already come out, and N64 and everything, when I had gotten my N64. So, uh, I played, my first game was Goldeneye and Turok, which, uh, really got me into FPS, and since then I've gotten basically every console that's came out, and it's been good since then. Yeah, sorry, he would have gone into more detail, but we have to end this video pretty quick here, so... Wrap it up, uh, pretty good. Eh, it was pretty good, actually, for the first commentary, in my opinion. It wasn't like the last bit. <laughs> that was, that was quite funny. Oh, fuck, I got me. But, no, I ended this game with, uh... With a really shitty aim down, with, uh, aim down sight with the MPK5. MP5K, pardon me. And yeah, took it, uh, took it home with three to five, and I was actually kind of proud of that because that's kind of one of my, one of my best um, free throw matches that I had. So, oh yeah, and then you got the whole connection interruption and shit. So. Oh well, that always Rage quit. Anyway, guys, this has been Steve and CJ. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and thanks again.